Hey guys, this is just a quick video for anybody that's deciding whether to get a six inch practice pad or a 12 inch practice pad. I'm going to talk about which one is more practical, which one you're more likely to use. I'm gonna talk about mounting the pads. So this six inch pad, you can mount to a cymbal stand, whereas a 12 inch one, you need to either mount to a, a snare drum stand or you can just put on your lap as you play it. I'll talk about the differences in volume. So this one, the 12 inch one is louder, slightly louder. And I'll talk about carrying them around. Just in general, the six inch pad is just more useful to bring around with you and just what they're like to play on. These are both HQ real feel practice pads. They're a little old. And if you want to get a newer version of these that are pretty much the same, and I think possibly the same brand um, that, have, that have just been updated, the Evans real feel practice pads, uh, you can check out in the link in the description to our website. We compare these as well as some of the other best practice pads around and you can figure out which ones are best for you. These are both gum rubber practice pads. They're single sided. You can get practice pads that are double sided. The, to state the obvious, this is a larger playing surface. Uh, compared to this, you are far less likely to hit the sides on this one. Um, if you're really going at it with playing, you might hit the side a little bit, but for the smaller practice pads, it also makes your playing a little bit more accurate because you have to make sure to hit the, the center of the, of the pad, which is also kind of a useful thing to have. The, the 12 inch practice pad in general, just the materials in it just kind of vibrate more and just make a little bit more noise when you're playing. So if you're in a house practicing, then I would recommend the smaller pad. The small one is a lot more practical for traveling, for putting into a suitcase, for bringing around with you. It is also just simply lighter. So again, that's also more practical in that aspect. The bigger one is a little bit more fun to play, but that also comes at the cost of being a bit bulkier. Um, and yeah, so overall, I think the six inch pad just tends to win for me. I've used this pad a lot more than the 12 inch option just because of practicalities. It's a lot easier to just pick up. You know, if you have it on the side of your couch, you can just reach for that e just easier than you would for a 12 inch pad. Um, so I just think it's just more useful. It just takes up less space as well. And a practice pad is all about just you know, being able to practice at any time and without making too much noise. So for me, the six inch option just makes a lot more sense. That said, there's no harm in having two of them. Um, I kind of enjoy playing on both of them. Uh, when I'm able to make a slight bit more noise, I like to reach for this. But as a starter, that's the one for me. So I don't think you should overthink it too much. It's just a practice pad. You should just get one if you do not have one already because it's a really important tool for any drummer. So yeah, hope this helps and do check the links in the description for more information on some of the alternative practice pads. If you want to just quickly have a look and compare some of the other options, there there is a tunable practice pad from Remo which might be useful. And there is also a popular Dromeo practice pad, which has multiple playing surfaces. So that's another one to check out.